Hey guys, welcome to the section making the page interactive. In this section, we will understand how to get the user inputs as events in JavaScript. We will understand a particular topic called callbacks and how to use them in order with events for processing the user actions. We will also introduce a check answer button which will allow the user to check their answers. In this particular section, we understood what is event is all about in JavaScript and also we understood the difference between user events and as well as browser events. Finally, we have also written enough code to show the necessary information to the user. The first section would be let's dive into events. In this particular video, we will look into what are events. In this particular topic, we will understand what is event in a layman term. At the same time, we will also talk a little bit about event and its types. So let's go back to the browser and open up our application that we have built it currently. So the application in the current state looks like the following. Here, let's pause for a moment and think about how we are going to collect the answer that has been submitted from the user. Definitely, we are going to have a button over here called submit or check answers button. And at the same time, the user also has an option to choose an answer out of these two radio buttons and then press on the submit button. The interesting thing is whenever you click on either of these radio buttons, a certain event is being fired from the browser to the JavaScript ecosystem. In the JavaScript ecosystem, you as a developer could able to catch that up and try to use them or make your web page interactive as much possible. And that's where events are really important. And at the same time, click is not only the event that is being associated. There are n number of events in JavaScript world. For example, moving of your mouse like this from right to left or left to right does also creates a series of mouse events could be captured from the JavaScript API. The interesting point is that events that are being exposed to our developers is to just make our web page itself more dynamic and apart from that user is not only the source who can create an event for example clicking off this radio option does create an event this event is being created or dispatched from the user however there are n number of events which the browser itself could able to fire for example if you go and look into the network tabs and try to refresh your browser you could able to see that the browser has just fired an event called finished on the load of this particular html file accordingly there are n number of events which browser could also fire to the javascript ecosystem again those events in the javascript apis which could be captured by the developers the interesting point is that these two things the events that are created by the user and the events that are generated by the browser we commonly termed it as events. So let's go back to the slide and try to look at takeaways of this particular section. Really understood in simple terms what are events in JavaScript world. And at the same time, we understood and talked about why this event concept is important because we just need to make our web page itself more dynamic. And at the same time, we also want to make a point very much clear that not only user could create events, but browser also does. And that's exactly the topic of the next section.